Hi, this is Edmund from Sports Trading AI. So today is the 23rd of April 2021. Uh, let's take a look at the first uh, banker bet case study. Okay, so for the first bet, it's not really a banker bet, but more like a total goal uh, case study. Okay, so uh, handicap, uh, half ball, opening odds in favor of home team, odds movement in favor of home team, head to head in favor of home team, but then the matchup it was a draw versus a draw. SDI formula was a was a draw as well. And then for goal scoring average, zero point six seven versus zero point three three. You know, so it's only a zero point three four advantage. And then the handicap was humble, right? So when you have this kind of situation, um, how do you actually uh, place your bets? Okay, so uh, we had to take a look at this uh, total goal odds so total goal um opening handicap was 2.5 goals one opening odds are 1.99 in favor of um under because uh, 1.99 means the uh that's for the over bet the under bet will be i think 1.85 or 1.86 okay so basically a spread is is a uh, inkling uh towards more to the towards uh, under and then for odds movement also went down by four cents in favor of under Right? And then if you were to add the goal scoring average together, 0 0.67 plus 0 0.33 is only one goal, right? And then uh, when you take a look at this uh, total goal, uh, half time total goal odds was uh, 1.97 odds at one goal. Okay, that's also in favor of under, because if it's in favor of over, the opening odds would be like anywhere from 1.75 to 1.85 or 1.88 kind of odds now you know anything above 1.95 or 96 and above is um in favor of uh, under okay and then uh basically all all the under under odds right kind of um coincide with the uh, goal scoring average and that's the reason for this match we actually bet uh, under one first half as well as uh, under 2.5 goals uh for the uh, pre-match Okay, so um, the match kind of uh, manifests itself, la, but uh, except that um, instead of this uh, Arsenal scoring, you know, uh, it was Everton who actually scored, la, you know, because this season Arsenal has been pretty like unpredictable, la, you know, so uh, that's how we actually won this bet. Okay, so for the second bet, it's also a total goal uh, opportunity. Okay, so uh, basically opening. Handicap was 2.5 goals, opening odds are 1.88 in favor of over. Odds movement um, uh, drop, actually it's 1.88, uh, it's 2.25 uh, ball, but then it it just went down to uh, 1.85 and then it transitioned to 2.5 uh, ball handicap. But then the odds movement was quite uh, negligible, uh, you know, after that it transitioned and then it opened at uh, 2.5 goals at 1.90 odds. So it's only like nine cents under but then when you take a look at the um total goals the average was uh four goals uh, you know uh 1.67 uh, and 2.33 but more importantly uh both teams actually scored in their last uh home and away game respectively uh, you know this gankler beligi actually scored two goals and kicker um wizard sport actually scored um three goals so when the match was um half, first half it was one nil and then by I think the 60th minute it was 1-1 one, one, right and then 1-1 uh, one, one, then it can go either way la, because uh, it's level ball handicap anyway right uh, in terms of the uh, odds movement kind of like it's going like a different direction uh, opening odds in favor of home team odds movement in favor of home team but then the other statistics all pointing towards the away team and then the the Goal scoring average. Uh, I don't. I mean, the uh, matchup was a loss versus a away win. Okay, so this kind of uh, stats can go either way. You know, even if two one, it actually makes sense because, like, uh, the home team actually scored two goals, like You know, uh, it can be one two as well. So uh, either way, you know. Uh, so that's the reason why we actually bet uh, over two point five lah at around I think around seventieth minute. Right, uh, sixty eight or sixty nine minute, yeah, and then by I think seventy third or seventy fourth minute, actually scored like, pretty fast, right, and then we won this bet, okay. So okay, so this is the real, uh, banker bet, huh?
this match. Okay, uh, Netherlands Division 2 for the match between this uh, Dan Bosch versus uh, Roda. Okay, so um, handicap was 3 quarter ball, opening odds are 1.90 in favor of home team, odds movement um, uh, plus 13 cents in favor of home team. STAI formula was a draw, uh, but then goal scoring average uh, it was uh, 2.33 versus 1.67. You know, so the home team has got a plus 0 0.67 goals average, but then uh, this Dembosch actually lost their last home game. Okay, they scored three goals but lost. I think it's a 3 5 result. And then this uh, Roda actually won their last away game and scored four goals. Uh, you know, so even though this is a banker bet statistic, uh, it wasn't a very clear cut banker bet, like, you know, because the matchup it was a loss versus a, a away win right so this one we just um, place like normal bet on normal standard bet kind of uh, you know for this match lah. but then uh, kind of one-sided you know um, yeah full time it was 7 nil. okay half time I think around 3 nil or 4 nil. yeah okay so next we have also a, a real banker bet huh? okay so uh, handicap was 3 quarter ball opening odds are 1.83 and then uh, odds movement went up by 20 cents so basically opening odds in favor of home team odds movements in favor of home team STAI formula marginal home win in favor of home team and then for goal scoring average it was uh, 1.67 versus 0 0.67 okay in favor of home team as the home team has got a plus one goal superior average head to head record was a win okay both teams actually uh, won their uh, previous games huh? okay so this match uh we actually bet uh, in in play because I actually updated the stats a bit slow. Uh. This was like a two forty five a.m. match, right? So by the time I key in, almost like the match almost kick off. Uh. And then um, what happened is because the handicap is a three quarter ball, even though it is a banker bet, okay, on paper. But then if you take a look at a goal scoring difference, it's only one goal, right? So typically this kind of opportunity. Uh, we'll try to wait for hard ball handicap, okay? Because uh, since it's very three quarter ball at two point zero three odds, uh, uh, very fast, like maybe like ten minutes into the game, uh, pretty easy for the match to actually end up, you know, at uh, hard ball handicap, la, Okay, so that was what we were trying to wait, la, But by the ninth minute, uh, this uh, Shamrock actually scored, okay. So when Shamrock actually scored one nil, uh, then it's a little bit dangerous, as in to chase again, like because, like I mentioned, the goal scoring average, um, you know, it's only a plus one goal superior average, right? And then if you take a look at the total goal, uh, odds it opened at two point two five ball handicap, uh, for total goals, and then it went to around uh, around two point one. 1 or 2.12 odds uh, and then transition to to 2 ball but the odds movement for for this total goals actually went up by 15 cents also quite a little substantial uh, you know and then if you were to look at the result it looks like a 2-1 kind of uh, outcome so uh, what we did was we patiently wait for half time uh, so and then uh, things didn't um, disappoint as in like uh, Bohemian actually equalized I think uh, middle of uh, the first half okay and then half time the odds was a uh, quarter ball uh, 1.88 strong odds la. meaning uh, the bookmaker is thinking like the home home team is likely to win and it kind of um, everything kind of aligned with the opening odds movement la. okay and that's the reason why we actually bought uh, 1 1 uh, and uh, minus the uh, 0 0.25 handicap la. if we had been too adventurous and at one nil we were to give half ball again we would have lost the bet okay and this kind of opportunity you know you could have also um, bet over uh, 0 0.75 goals you know by the eight or nine minute i think for 0 0.75 goals you'll be getting like 1.96 odds you know which is quite decent okay quite decent because uh total goal odds there's 15 cents and then for odds movement, uh, there's uh, 20 cents. So likely there's going to be goals uh, in the first half. Okay, so if you were to bet like over 0 0.75 first half, uh, you would have won as well. So there are a lot of uh, a lot of uh, different kinds of bets you could have actually taken uh, for this uh, 
this kind of uh, scenario so i hope you enjoy this uh, video uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe to the channel and remember to click on to the bell notification so that you'll be able to receive the latest um, uh, latest uh, videos that's being launched because on and off i do run some uh, promotion for a short period of time so it's important that you actually get this uh, information uh, real time okay so uh, i'm going to be launching some promotional uh, stuff uh, very very soon once i uh, create the i finish up with uh, some of these videos i'm going to uh, do up a video and it's the title is going to be the number one sports trader in the world okay uh, do look out for that and i'll be actually indicating some promotional offers over there okay so if you are thinking of uh, signing up for my course okay just hang on for 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 the video to come out because i want you to get the really great deal but make sure you you don't miss that because once you miss it uh it's not going to come back e ever again okay take note of that huh? thank you bye bye